we have a posterior view of the neck and upper trunk and we are looking at the rhomboid muscles on the right side of the body. The rhomboid minor and the rhomboid major. For context, the levator scapulae muscle has been added into this figure and it has been ghosted so that we can see through it. The proximal attachments of the rhomboids are onto the spinous processes of C7 down through T5. More specifically, the proximal attachments of the rhomboid minor are onto the spinous processes of C7 and T1, and the proximal attachments of the rhomboid major are onto the spinous processes of T2 down through T5. From there, the rhomboids run laterally and inferiorly, and their distal attachment is onto the medial border of the scapula from the root of the spine of the scapula down to the inferior angle of the scapula. More specifically, the distal attachment of the rhomboid minor is onto the medial border of the scapula at the root of the spine of the scapula. And the distal attachment of the rhomboid major is onto the medial border of the scapula, starting inferior to the root of the spine of the scapula and running down to the inferior angle of the scapula.